This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a seamless zoom transition in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. So, let's get started. Alright, now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see on the timeline, I have got two different video clips. Let's create the zoom transition with these two video clips. First of all, we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel, and then select the adjustment layer. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Next, click on OK. Now we can drag this adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place it on top of the two clips. After that, move the time indicator to the middle position between the two clips, because this will be the center point of the zoom transition. Now we have to cut this adjustment layer on both sides with an equal amount of frames. In this case, I'm going to use five frames on both sides. So, let's move the time indicator 5 frames forward. Now we can switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key, and then cut the adjustment layer to this position. After that, let's remove the extra part of the adjustment layer. Next, move the time indicator 10 frames backward. Again, let's switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key, and cut the adjustment layer to this position. After that, let's remove the extra part of the adjustment layer. Alright, the adjustment layer is ready. Now, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect onto the adjustment layer. In the next step, let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize the transform effect. Now, we have to create keyframes for scale parameter by clicking on this stopwatch icon. And then, move the first keyframe to the end position of the adjustment layer. Next, let's create another keyframe with the scale parameter value 100, and leave this keyframe at the beginning. After that, move the time indicator to the middle position of the adjustment layer. Now, let's make the scale parameter value around 500. Alright, now we are done. With these couple of steps, we have created this simple zoom transition. It looks great. Now, we're going to add a bit of motion blur to the transition. You can do this by disabling the option to use composition shutter angle. And then, let's set the shutter angle value around 360. As you can see here in the program monitor this now adds some motion blur to the transition. This already looks a lot better. But we can further improve this by right-clicking on the last keyframe, and then select Ease In. And right-click on the first keyframe, and then select Ease Out. This will make the zoom animation look a lot smoother. In this way, you can create a seamless zoom transition in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro.